And I'm going to say welcome to the space. Sending you wellness on your journey. Okay? Now, be the leader of your own uh, intuition. Okay? Trust your own intuition whenever you're receiving a message. Okay? Leave the messages that are not for you. Take what is for you. Okay? As, I mean, clearly your spirit led you here. Okay? If you need a reading, check the description box down below of these videos for that information. Email me, Holy Spirit, Angels, and Guys. Let it be known. In the card's throne here, we got the sign of Aries. I think it was Aries. It's, I don't know why it's Leo flipped up right now, but I think it was Aries. We got a message for Aries. Holy Spirit, what is this for Aries right now? Let it be known for Aries. Okay. So there's some sort of ending or beginning, or maybe even both. Okay, whatever for Aries at this time. Aries. Somebody could be reminiscing, you or them, Aries, okay. about the past. And you also got mask. Ooh. Somebody's not showing their true feelings, okay? This could be you or them. It's probably you, Aries. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. Some of my Aries, it's like you in a true, uh, a connection with a lot of chemistry. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why that came out like that. Aries, I'm seeing you having fun right now. Okay. What else is coming out for Aries at this time? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, Spirit wants you to get out and have fun. Spirit wants you to, like, do something because, um, you're rare and free, and there's not many like you, okay? So spirits want you to, like, get out, have fun, um, do something that rejuvenates you, brings you back to life, okay? Is the energy that I'm getting for you, Aries, at this time. I'm not going to hold you, okay? Wow, and wedding. So I don't know, for the person on your mind or the person in your life, for some of my Aries, okay, it's a situation that's going to involve marriage with this person, Anything else here, Holy Spirit, for angels or angels for Aries at this time? Wow, Aries, you're going to be expressing your love. You or them. Okay, and then Aries, we also got finances and career. Okay, so money is definitely affecting your romantic life for some of my Aries. Okay. And we also got our children. Okay, could be affecting uh, a connection as well. Anything else? Let's get one more for Aries. Okay, so Aries, if there's any red flags, you need to pay attention to them. Okay, Spirit is warning you here. Let's get a message here from the angels. What do they got to say? To the Aries in the building. <clears throat> Solar plexus chakra. It's safe for you to be powerful right now, Aries, and take charge of your life in positive ways. Okay. So you're going to be getting a lot done here with the solar plexus chakra, okay? Uh, maybe your ambition was down or your drive, okay? Feeling uninspired, okay? And it's coming back to you, okay? That inspiration, that energy you need to get things done, all right? What else? For Aries at this time. I'm also seeing like you having more fun or like bringing more. Okay, ooh, yeah, benefits, employee benefits. So whatever you do for a living, you guys are, even for some of you guys that are self-employed, it's like benefits to whatever you do for a living, okay? It's like you get certain perks or benefits just for being you, 
Okay, work benefits, employee benefits. Okay, something about that for some of my Aries. Okay, here we go. Anything else? Okay, Aries, somebody could be doing a background check. Some of you guys could be looking for a job. Okay, somebody wants to micromanage your time or like it's spending a lot of time like analyzing you. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if this is work or just in your life in general. And these might be red flags for some of you guys, especially those of you guys who have already been in those type of codependent connections. Okay. Yeah. We also got out for Aries working overtime here. Some of you guys can be picking up a little OT. Okay. Some of you guys are going to be looking for a job. Okay. And Aries be mindful of overspending at this time. Okay. Especially because I'm getting this energy of pretending. So if you are pretending, you're going to be overspending because it's like you're trying to make like something's not bothering you and it's causing you to overspend. I don't know what you're overspending on. That's your goddamn business. That's your business. <laughs> okay. Something about hiding. Like again, with this masking, this could be you or them. Okay. Let me get one more for Aries at this time. We got receipts, okay? So re receipts are going to be important, especially if some of you guys have overspent or just bought something like impulsively buying shit, okay? And it's like, you know this shit need to go back. But, uh -uh. <laughs> like, what the fuck was you thinking? Anyways. You might be still keeping it, some of y'all. <laughs> I just heard Aries was like, some of y'all Aries was like, I'm not taking it back. <laughs> okay, wow. So, yeah, for some of my Aries, you guys are working on a connection that may turn to marriage for some of you guys. And this is probably odd as shit, but there's something here about marriage for some of my Aries, not all. Okay, so chill the fuck out, Aries. That's clearly not in a situation that'll guarantee to marriage or is marriage material period all right if you know it's not marriage material like don't get in my comments if you know you're not marriage material don't get in my comments telling me about you not being marriage material stop trying to be important okay there's a soulmate connection there's like a major decision or something like that that uh aries has to make okay I also see some sort of celebration or a get together or something like that could be getting ready to happen. Cause yeah, we got the month of October. So something about around Halloween with the three of cups. Okay. For some of my uh, Aries here. Okay. Yeah. There's some sort of insecurity or something like that. You're working through. Okay. Right now, especially like if this has to do with like a marriage or connection, you know what I'm saying? Like the insecurity is not, it's, it's a you thing. But it also could mean like it was something so heavy or so deeply seated that you were not willing to kind of deal with this insecurity. So it's almost like a, a no, I'm not going to deal with this as if it doesn't exist. You know what I'm saying? Especially like when it came to a connection or something that you just knew, knew needed to be addressed. And it's like, no, nah, I'm going to put that shit off for as long as I can. Okay, something being addressed here. Okay. Somebody's lazy. I don't know. Aries. What is it with this Queen of Pentacles energy and this justice? Okay. So, yeah. Aries, you could be receiving some sort of gift. Some sort of charity or donation. Okay. So again, with this fun. Spirit wants you to have fun here. With the sun here. Okay. Aries, some of these things you've been manifesting, I'm telling you, these seeds you've been planting, they starting to pay off for some of my uh, Aries. I don't know what seeds you've been planting, but you've been planting something here with this solar plexus chakra, 9-11. Okay. And these things are coming to fruition. Uh, Aries could be in a state of awakening. There's a situation, Aries, you probably feel like it's like you beating a dead horse almost, okay? But you're finding the mental strength, right, um, through whatever adversity you may deal be dealing with here mentally. Because I do see a lot of air energy, okay? So you are a lot in your head, okay? Again, some more air, air energy. Aquarius, another Aquarius. Okay, this could be Aquarius Libra for you. It doesn't have to be. It could be any sign, Aries. 
Hmm. Let me get a couple more messages for Aries at this time. I'm looking for a new love, baby. Uh oh. Where that came from? So Aries looking for like a new person? Yeah, look, as I say that, moving on. Look what pop up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Somebody like to go to concerts or something like that, Aries. Or like you into music. I don't fucking know, whatever this is. Okay, so my Aries, you guys could be dealing with abandonment or like moving on. Okay, or like it's been hard. Like you've been going back and forth with this person. Okay, this could be possible. Earth sign here, fire. Uh, Pisces, Sag Sagittarius, Pisces, um, Virgo. Okay, so you, there's somebody you feel like is reckless, this Virgo. Or like they shady as fuck. Okay. It's like you keep, this is like that one person that you keep giving a chance to. Whoever this is, okay. This person I feel like is greedy. And they're the person that make you feel like you'll never marry. And it's like your soulmate is out here saying like, dude, sis you need to get away from this person because i'm out here right i don't know that's what i'm hearing in the ether it's like so just be mindful of that okay first you're not going to find your soulmate aries because you keep staying with the idiot that ain't for you <laughs> of course you don't believe in love i already know why because <laughs> you keep giving this motherfucker a chance okay knowing how fake they is and it's like they playing on the fact that you're just so damn gullible. <laughs> just so damn eager to jump in. <laughs> Knowing this person going to hurt your ass every time. You know, you keep having hope for their ass and they keep stabbing you in the damn back. Playing tricks with you and shit. Okay, making you regret their ass. <laughs> Aries, you could be dealing with some sort of fear or anxiety. Also, you could be dealing with some sort of gossip. Somebody, whoever's been gossiping, they about to come clean and tell your ass what they've been talking about. Okay. Aries, I do see you finding inner strength, courage, and bravery, as well as love. Like I said, when you finally do figure it out that you need to leave this person alone, that's when love is going to appear. So you're not even looking for this love, but it's coming in. And it involves marriage. And that's the thing. You're scared as fuck of marriage because of what this person did to you. So there may, be, may need to be an intermittent time of healing, you know, um, or something like that. Okay. And that's what they're talking about. This inner strength you find in that. Okay. At some point. Courage, bravery. Okay. To not like be like, oh, I could never have love, you know what I mean? Because this person showed me how impossible it is. They only showed you that because you were unwilling to heal that part of you. They were only showing you that unhealed part of you. So you can't be mad at them because they're inherently you. You know, our partners are inherently reflections of us. I don't give a damn what you talk about, Aries. <laughs> All right. I love you. Bye.